What's up, DBs? Coach D Magic here, former Division I corner, bringing you the best DB content on the internet. Make sure you go in the description, check out my website. I got everything you need, speed, agility, strength, drills, film, IQ to help take your game to the next level. Let's talk about this dropped interception by Jair Alexander. What's up, guys? Now, when you get to college, you're going to be running quarters. Everybody runs quarters, all right? So I would say for the corners, it's pretty straightforward. It's not that difficult. Um, once you once you learn it, and if you can get a heads up or a head start on it, it's a lot easier. It's more difficult for the safeties and the nickels because you got to adjust to so many different things. But what they're going to do here. In their quarter situation is they're pretty much going to do a split coverage um, and then one of the more popular ways to deal with a three by one or a trips situation is you're gonna play what's called stubby um, and then you can play whatever you kind of want on this side but they're going to play basically cover two um, so you can call it cone you can call it red green whatever but it's basically cover two or a two-on-one situation here so let's talk about these three defenders here. They're basically going to pay a triangle over these two. So he's going to have first out. He's going to cap the triangle. He is going to have first in. So if we watch number two and three here, he sinks. So this is pretty much like a flat technique for a corner. All right. So you're going to sink uh, and then try to play the corner out. But because it's fourth and four and we literally get first out towards the sticks, he's going to have to jump that right away. All right. Once he goes away, he's pretty much going to kind of back up and try to give some support for the safety uh, who has this number two if he runs the post and if he runs the corner. All right. And then you're pretty much just going to lock up here as a corner. This is a running back. This is Bijan Robinson. So. His technique is pretty much he's playing far off. I don't think he's really anticipating him be a threat. Being a threat as a corner, you shouldn't really be getting beat by running backs one on one. But Bijan's pretty good. And like I said, over the top, they're pretty much going to play in a cover two. So he's going to have flat. He's going to have over the top and a half technique. Um, but I like the way Jair plays it. All right. So he's pretty much going to act like he's sinking, act like he's going to be running with this. So as the quarterback looks, he sees the corner with his head turned. He should see it, or his back turned, I would say. He sees the quarter with his back turned, um, and he's high on this. So if I'm running a stop route, if I'm running this little hitch route right here as a quarterback, and I think a high-level quarterback should kind of see this coming, but safety over the top, you should see this coming, but clever play. He's going to slack off, make it seem like he's going to give up the short, and he's just waiting for the break, all right? Because he can jump anything. He can, if it's a double move, he doesn't have them. So he's he's literally breaking on the first thing he sees, um, but he's just playing it a, uh, a lot more clever than guys will see, all right? To kind of bait the quarterback, all right? So he's going to slough off as soon as he sees that. He doesn't even see the hips drop. He feels the hips drop. Again, you don't want to be too high because it is fourth and four. Expect something near the sticks or slightly beyond the sticks, all right? So don't carry this too far. But again, playing trap, watches the quarterback's arm come off the ball, and then he drives it and he just drops it, all right? But um, great cover for disguise here. And this is just basically, like I said, this is what you're going to run, guys. Everybody runs this versus trips. Triangle over two and three, lock up here, and you guys can play whatever you want. Sometimes he might leave you on an island if we need more help. Let's say we get um, a bender here and we might need the safety help. He's going to stay um, on the hash, the college hash, uh, and then you're locking up here. But there's so many things you can do out of cover four. We just got to capitalize here, man. We got to capitalize. But again, guys, I played D1. I played against SEC schools, Pac-12 schools, Big 12 schools. It's all the same defenses at the end of the day. If you want to learn these techniques, if you want to get a better IQ, get a better press, get stronger, get faster, Again, my website is going to be in the description box. Get ready to take your game to the next level. I know these summer camps are coming. Don't miss out.